Hello Levy, um, as I promised yesterday, um, I'll make one video. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it because of some uh, uh, other technical difficulties. But uh, however, here is a short video wherein I will explain you about this uh, M+. <clears throat> this is the product and uh, when you start with uh, any demonstration, first you tell them this unit has, this, this unit is um, a cautery machine, that is electrosurgical unit which has monopolar cut, monopolar coagulation, bipolar and also a vessel sealer inbuilt in it. So it's basically a cutting machine with a vessel sealer. Okay. Now <clears throat> if you can see the modes here, pure, low cut, blend, endo, I hope you will be able to see if you can zoom it, we can see it. However, you can check it on your um, machine over there. Um, how to change modes? You can by pressing this option. You see that it keeps changing like that so uh, in cut mode we have four modes um, first one is pure cut which has uh, the maximum is of 400 watts and pure cut is basically used for uh, cutting um, just like any other machine here you can keep at a wattage of around uh, uh, 25 and 30 depending upon how you uh, on what uh, which organ you're using it and uh, basic monopolar pencil either with hand switch or foot switch you can use this okay second is low cut uh, this is a special mode uh, built for laparoscopy when you use this the smoke is uh, reduced to a great extent because when you when you do laparoscopy there is camera and other things and the possibility of gas generation is quite high so this special mode is for laparoscopy you can also use it in open for cutting uh, the <coughs> pets other one is uh, uh, blend mode. Uh, I'm sorry, I just missed the low cut. The, the maximum wattage in low cut is 300 watts. And uh, the maximum wattage in blend is 250 watts. Uh, blend is nothing but it's a mixture of um, uh, cut and coagulation. Wherever you find in, in, uh, in a pet, wherever you find any tissue wherein there is a lot of bleeders, uh, when you know that when you cut, the possibility of bleeding is quite high because of the capillaries or by other uh, other uh, tiny nerves. You can use this blend mode, <coughs> and um, you can use this. So it will cut along with that. At the same time, it will keep coagulating as well. Next is endo cut. Endo cut is uh, a fractionated cutting wherein it, uh, it it is just like blend also, but it cuts, coagulates, and pauses. Uh, it has a smart feature in that whenever you try to cut if it is bleeding already first it will sense and then it will stop the bleeding and only after that it will cut until and unless it, it doesn't drive them it won't cut so that smart feature is inbuilt in this endo cut there are total nine levels we have kept as per the intensity and power um, I think in wet you can use maximum as uh, um, EC3, EC4 is good enough, more than enough, I suppose. But if you feel, still feel uh, the power is not good enough, you can increase it gradually. But uh, the advice would be to go from um, uh, EC2. And um, if there is any high bleeders, my suggestion would be to go with uh, endo cut rather than blend mode. This is much more efficient. So that was um, <clears throat> monopolar cut. Now coming to monopolar coagulation. Um, I'll keep it. We have uh, six mode um, in monopolar coagulation, which means six different different varieties using which diff six different features using which you can coagulate for uh, um, different type of tissues, different type of scars, and um, <coughs> um, tissue um, resistance. First one is spray. Spray means it is a non-touch coagulation. When you try to um, um, Coagulate if there is any uh, big bleeders like there are like large scars um, Quite big bleeders you can use spray you don't have to touch just keep it at the distance like this and press spray So it will spray like this if you can focus on the um, The menu you can understand it sprays like just like that Okay, and basically it is used for larger area spray gives you superficial uh, coagulation and uh, it is uh, quite widely used uh, in coagulation and uh, the maximum wattage you can go up to is you see it is increasing I hope you can have a look at it it's 120 watts 
Okay, next is, uh, remember one thing, in spray you do not have to touch it, it is non-touch coagulation. Next is fulgurate, it is again a non-touch coagulation but the method is a little different. Here uh, in fulgurate it, is, it doesn't sprays like this, rather it comes like a thunder. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you visualize thunder, that is how you can see, even in the menu it is given. Um, the coagulation fulgurate is a little deeper in the tissue. So wherever you feel the coagulation has to go a little deeper, you can use this fulgurate. Okay, again this is a non-touch coagulation. Uh, from a little distance you have to press the coagulation and automatically using the air as a medium, it would coagulate that area. Next one is, uh, I'm sorry I missed it, this fulgurate is 150 watts, the maximum is 150 watts. Then comes desiccate. In desiccate, this is a contact coagulation. Contact coagulation means you can touch the electrode to the tissue and press desiccate. The maximum is 120 watts. And even this is, um, the coagulation of desiccate is a little deeper. And um, <clears throat> this is most commonly used uh, uh, desiccation in human. And uh, the same thing can be used in vets as well. Okay, maximum is 120 watts. Next is soft. Um, soft is specifically meant for those tissues wherever uh, the tissues are very fragile, very soft, and the resistance is very small. Um, these kind of things are basically used in neurosurgery as well. But if you feel that this tissue is um, quite soft and um, using any other feature can actually um, create carbonization or charring, then I would suggest take a soft tissue, um, sorry, soft uh, coagulation. This one coagulates the tissue, but um, the, the charring is less with less intensity. Okay, the maximum is 120 watts. Now the next is, it's, it's, it shows us AD, although nothing has been highlighted, but it, AD means auto desiccate, which means it is a form of desiccation, but here the machine senses the coagulation, which means in previous four modes, whenever you coagulate, uh, the control is in, in your hand when to stop and when to start. But here, once you start, it will stop automatically. You don't have to stop it because it senses the resistance and uh, according to the resistance, it will stop because the, judge, uh, the machine would be the best judge here. Okay, and if, if, if you feel like the doctor is not able to identify, then I would say auto desiccate is good. Then comes AS. AS is same as um, uh, soft, but here again the feature is the same. It is auto soft, which means once you press the um, pedal or uh, the switch, it uh, turns off the coagulation automatically. And if you ask how it does, uh, every second it takes at least three to 4,000 samples of resistance. And once it understands the resistance has uh, reached to a certain level, that means it understands that um, the surface is coagulated and it stops automatically, okay? Next coming is uh, bipolar. Uh, this is <clears throat> uh, most commonly uh, or widely accepted technology right now when compared to monopolar because monopolar is a little um, riskier because of the high voltage and the current has to pass through the uh, patient's body and then collected in the patient plate and you know um, taken it back to the machine. Uh, wherein in bipolar uh, it is much safer because of the uh, less voltage and the kind of technology that we use. In bipolar we have very commonly used as cut I will show you the maximum uh, voltage. It's uh, 140 watts. Uh, mostly bipolar is, is used for uh, coagulation, but there is a standard cut feature given. Um, so let's say, for example, if you want to cut using bipolar, then there is a specific scissor that comes. You can use that and cut the tissue using bipolar. Next comes force. Force is um, just like... Um, um, superficial coagulation, I mean like um, for different tissues, I, f I would say like for larger tissues you can use uh, force um, and the maximum wattage is 100 which is more than enough and uh, micro is for uh, uh, narrow tissues, narrow I mean like narrow scars, smaller scars, uh, smaller um, to stop the bleeders, you can use micro. Next is C4, C4 is basically for um, Cutting with a different technology, like I've explained to you about the golden tip. 
uh, we will come to C4 right now um, later but right now just to show you there are five levels okay then comes auto stop which means when you turn on uh, the coagulation in bipolar it stops automatically just like you saw it in auto de auto desiccate and auto soft similarly then comes uh, SAS uh, this is auto start auto stop when you hold the tissue uh, between the jaws of your bipolar um, forceps and you press this um, it will sense the tissue and it will start coagulate and then stop automatically so there are like six modes again in bipolar okay so that was that was a feature for a basic cautery wherein you have monopolar cut monopolar coag and bipolar now comes the uh, most important feature for all the vets which is uh, uh, ligate or most commonly most people just say it as ligature right here we have seven levels um, first five levels are for L three, four, five, and then comes F1 and F2 so overall total we have um, seven levels in that one L1 to uh, L5 uh, which has a different uh, combination of current and voltage and F1 and F2 has a very different current and combination, uh, different current and voltage combination. Um, if you remember, we have we used F2 in the surgeries, and it gave better results than any other uh, modes, right? So my suggestion would be to use F1 or F2 would be best for us, okay? And just to give you the other glimpse, this is for volume increase and decrease, and whatever modes you keep here, you have to connect the Liga shot. This is the corresponding port for ligate. You have to connect the um, uh, open vessel sealer or the uh, laparoscopic vessel sealer or the golden tip. And this is bipolar. Whatever modes you keep here, the corresponding output comes from here. This is for uh, monopolar cut. So corresponding output comes from this monopolar here. And um, for coagulation also it will come from here. But we have two monopolar outputs for monopolar cut and coag. Simultaneously you can use uh, um, for coagulation in certain surgeries and this port is for a patient plate I showed you two patient plates uh, one is uh, the smaller one and the other one is quite bigger as we work on a concept called capacitive coupling and um, to show you on the other thing as I've did this yellow pe pedal is used for monopolar cutting if you're using foot pedal right now we have not connected the um, patient plate so I'll just explain you in this way uh, this is for monopolar cut, this is for monopolar coagulation, and this is for bipolar. Okay, now uh, just like we spoke uh, when we want to use the golden tip, then either we can switch it from here or from here. Here it shows FS mono, that means foot switch is in monopolar, that is standard foot switch. If I press it this one, it has gone to buy which means now this will just focus here see this pedal will work for ligate this pedal for work for if I press it you will get C5 see this this is for cutting but using bipolar and this is for bipolar coagulation so this way you can switch the foot pedal and the best part is you don't have to go to the screen and press it to keep switching the mode just using the foot pedal with your leg press it it can tell you and also if you see the PPCM here it will show you whether you are using a um, split type of patient plate or a normal uh, patient plate I will show you the other two samples of uh, patient plates which we uh, which I had just one sec so let me um, this is the patient plate that I'm suggesting right now which is a non-split and uh, this is the cable which we basically use for this so this end you can actually look into this part if you can focus here there is no split so you can look into that this part goes here and this part goes here just focus here also see that that red color went off if I remove this cable that means it's not connected right so this is when uh, you can uh, right so this is the basic uh, patient plate that we use to 
uh, put underneath the human but um, if you see this is another patient plate which is very bigger in size and much efficient and um, compare if we compare these both in this kind of um, patient plate you, you have to use gels so that there is a body contact and um, you know it's it's um, um, safer so that there is no alternate side burn or skin burn but when we connect in this here you don't have to apply any kind of gel it uses air as the medium and uh, a patient can sleep on this directly and we can operate we are working on this one and pretty soon we are going to um, you know this is a prototype we are going to come up with something better and I'll share those videos with you and I hope with this uh, video you are able to understand a uh, basic of uh, the modes and um, how to check and if you want to change more uh, programs up and down you can program number one two three whatever program you set you can actually keep it okay thanks Libby thanks for your time